there's bhang, there's hash, there's hash oil, there's charas, and then there's ganja. So first of all, how do you subjectively feel when you've had cannabis? The world seems to slow down. This is called the temporal slowing, which means everything seems to be just going on in a very slow motion, whereas your thoughts are going really super fast. You may also feel subjectively very hungry, and these are called the munchies that you're having for particularly fatty food, like a pizza or a burger or just french fries and soda. You also feel a sense of a general high or disinhibition, which means sometimes you may do things which are very out of character. But beware, beyond the nice trip, there's something called a bad trip that you can get on cannabis. There have been individuals who, after their first exposure or even after their 10th exposure to cannabis, have reported psychosis, having hallucinations, feeling paranoid, hearing voices and seeing and doing things that aren't real. So users of cannabis, interestingly, don't have a very clear cut withdrawal. However, subjectively, you may feel sluggish, you may feel extremely uh, bored, you may not want to get out of the bed, you may have a motivation for days, not wanting to even brush your teeth at end. And finally, you may eventually, when the cannabis leaves your system, start to feel more like yourself. There can also be depression in long term, very common. There could be a rebound anxiety, extremely common after cannabis withdrawal. And of course, your cardi cardiopulmonary status does get affected because most people who do cannabis smoke it either in a bong, in a joint. And with that hit, there is some amount of chemical residue that goes into their lungs. Opioids are popularly used in pain management by doctors. However, there are also variants like heroin, uh, popularly known as smack, very popular in the movie Purta Punjab, which brought to light that there's a rampant use, especially amongst the youth. What do opioids do? They're slightly different than the other drugs because they're downers. They make you feel a little dull sense of being. Some people enjoy it because they want to cut out the reality. Uh, they become lethargic, they're sleeping most of the time, so it's called nodding off, particularly. Over a long period of time, you definitely age faster. The sense of you changes. The opioid users, which are chronic users, seem to look a lot different what they are supposed to at the right age. In fact, their cognitive capacity decreases, their productivity decreases, even their, in some studies, they say that their sperm count decreases as well. So it can affect all parts of your body, including your blood vessels, your livers, your eyes, your ENT system, because your nose gets impacted. So practically every part of the body can get affected because of the opioid use. It is the opioid withdrawal, which is extremely scary to look at, especially for a loved one. If a loved one of yours has been using opioid for a while and obviously has tried to quit on their own, they may have some of these withdrawal symptoms. Number one, we notice a lot of lacrimation or watering from the eyes. There's also a running nose that we particularly find in opioid users when they try to quit suddenly. Abdominal cramps, which can make you feel like it's the death of the world. Cocaine, however, can be extremely notorious to be very addictive from the first hit ever. Very hard to quit. You either become too excited and become the blabbermouth of the party and you can also find it very hard to control yourself. Uh, a lot of people have sweating, they have physiological changes, they may have tremors, uh, they may just start uh, even ignoring food because cocaine really cuts down on your appetite in that moment. Now, as a doctor, what do we look for? We look for the pupillary dilatation, which means your pupils become really big when you're on cocaine. And that's how we can tell that you're having cocaine. In fact, your uh, pulse rate goes through a roof, your blood pressure can fluctuate, your hands can start sweating and having tremors, which is the basic intoxication for most of the drugs out there. The cocaine withdrawal is not pretty either. So because cocaine is an upper, unlike the opioid, which was a downer, after the high of cocaine, people have a crash, which means that suddenly they find them lethargic, fatigued, not wanting to do anything, yawning, and not wanting to get out of the bed for days at an end. However, in general, your blood vessels can start to get affected. Your blood pressure can go out of whack. You can develop a lot of uh, systemic problems over the period of time. What are stimulants? Drugs that make you go absolutely alert and hyper. MDMA, the ecstasies, the mollies, the meow meows, which is mephedron, uh, which is a re relatively recent and new drug synthetically made. Uh, these drugs are all notorious for highly addictive potential. When you're high on drugs, after the nice trip, there could be some really negative factors. For example, feeling 
a lot of anxiety and feeling fearful you can have palpitations you can have tachycardia which is basically being aware of your heart rate now comes the very notorious part which are the hallucinations there could be something called depersonalization and derealization which means you're sitting here but you can also watch yourself from a distance at your own self and imagine yourself being a third person and this happens in full consciousness not in the state of dream these are the notorious parts of amphetamines just like cocaine when you get off mdma or any other stimulant all of a sudden and have a crash you may start feeling extremely anxious fatigued tired your body movements may become extremely slow and incoordinated your heart may start pounding or you may start having a slowing down of your heart rate psychosis memory issues depression and one of the main things that we find a lot of individuals go through is extreme sadness leading to suicidal ideas especially in drugs like mdma lsd magic shrooms are extremely common and party drugs used to bring in about a high individuals have reported very bizarre hallucinations on lsd and that is the purpose of the hallucinogen to induce different forms of magical hallucinations so some of the people have reported that they start to see music and they start to hear things in different modalities for example a visual art starts to sing to them whereas the music becomes an actual visual that's how magical it can be but beyond this magic trip there can also be a crash in the aftermath of the lsd the shroom party you may feel extremely lethargic not wanting to get out of bed your generalized sense of being becomes extremely depressed your cognitive status becomes extremely that of someone who doesn't feel like there is a lot left in life uh, physiologically your sleep your appetite your body starts to suffer mal khatam party over go home 